And here we are again, near the end of Silent Hill 4. So we're going to go back out into the corridor, see what we can see. Might have forgotten where we were. Hang on. Oh, it's just 205. I thought it had something written on it other than just letters. It's 206. I'm trying to look. Oh, let's go and close a look at this thing over here. It's sort of weird wiggly things in a cage. Well, it quite looks like a body, but it certainly looks like something. It does rather, yes. And I bet you it's not there if we get around the other side. So, route 206. Another. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh. He's, he's going to run down there, that's possibly alright, or are you going to keep chasing him? I'm trying to actually get out of the way, but the controls are very Oh, they're them. protesting a bit. So this is the apartment of the oh. people who have lots of kids. Can we is not it, interact with them? There's a baby in there. No, we can't interact in there. I'm scared. I'm scared as well. You see, he's just there. He's kind of just running in circles. Is, is he having pathing problems, perhaps? Yes, we're just going to run down and say hi. Well, actually, I'm just going to see if there's any items in here. Yes, these are the kids' rooms. And there's a candle, yeah. Um, is she attacking him? So the thing is, at this point, she's probably as damaged as she can get. She's not. Oh gosh. Come on. Well, she's not getting any closer, so hopefully she'll follow. She yes. is. Yes, that was very dangerous. We were in quite close quarters. Ah, this is the room where Braintree died. She can get um, very, very damaged, actually. She's not that far off fully damaged. Yeah. She's not quite. So, as you said, we did at least find out that it wasn't actually our fault. <laughs> it was the game sabotaging us a bit. Yeah. Which uh, feels a bit less bad. Can't hold anymore. We could probably eat that health drink now. We got a bit damaged from Walter. Got bullets? I've seen any holes actually. No, not especially. It's weird being in Braintree's room again though. It almost looks like the, the bin that had that guy's clothes or skin has been sort of knocked over and dragged off. All weird bodies. Some kind of enemy. Oh, it's one of those pointing ones that isn't cloaked. They're very strange looking. Yeah, oh. rather, yeah. It's like, is it supposed to be the same enemy but literally without the cloak? Well, it's a different colour and everything, so I think it's perhaps an advanced form of it, perhaps, or a degenerated form of it, considering where we are in the game, of course. Yeah. Around here. Hmm, you know, some strange voice. Uh, we'll just go through this and come to them, I think. Hmm, actually, no, we won't. Sorry, Eileen. Yes, we. So, what are through. we doing? Um, going to the middle room because I know there's um, a save point. Okay. But we'll have a look at this on the way back. Yes, it's room 10... Is that 105 or 106? It's uh, 105. So this is the superintendent's room, which is our target, which is why it's locked. It's six chains, no It's very locked. Is that the same event that was on our door? That's a very good question. <laughs> now, watch Eileen here. It's a sketchbook. Yeah, she doesn't move anymore. Oh, is this sort of a you can leave her here moment? Yeah, yeah I suppose. That's interesting. It was actually. So if you, see, if you can recognise the voiceover, it's uh, Little Walter. I 
thought it was interesting that he's talking about his dad now. Because for all this while, it's been about his mother. Yes, now very much concentrating his on his mother. Uh, I can't find another hole. So I'm not sure if I should run back or not. I'm going to run back. It shouldn't take too long. The, uh, the layout of apartment worlds is just the apartment building with some zigging and zagging in and out of rooms rather than like a building world which got quite confusing at the end remembering where we've been and where we hadn't. Look, confused the hell out of me. Through there, yeah. The only thing is we have to run past Walter. What? Did we dodge him sufficiently? Ah! And yes, we just want to go all the way back around, all the way along to the other side. Because it is a little mazy still. Yeah, it's a bit more obvious. It's like when there's a grave, you know, you just go into the room that's next to it and find the way through. Yeah, so you don't have, actually have any choice about whether or not to leave Eileen behind now. You just kind of do. Yeah, and then it's like, do you... Do you worry? I think this is an overshooting area, I don't know. No, it's me going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, right, we go upstairs, yes. I think, yeah. do you worry, is it because sort of stuff's happening to her? There were noises in there. Yeah, yeah, there were sort of moaning noises when we were in there before the first time. It sort of almost looked like she was a bit trance-like. Yeah, yeah. Stuff be happening, yo. Here we go. The little loading screen, so we're in the room proper. We can also use that candle if we want. Or the rest of the same medallion if you'd prefer. Yeah, I think we should use the same medallion. As long as oh, you that looks brilliant. Are, are ready to equip the next one. Oh, yeah. Go away, come on. Little weird things. It was actually quite a strong effect. I think we've even got a crack in the second one. But yes, that's gone away. That looks really strange. It is, they're kind of wiggling and sparkling. Like vampires. <laughs> Wiggly, sparkly vampires. I suppose. So, just going to have a quick save here. And then I'm going to immediately regret not putting my stuff away first. <laughs> so let's pop away a set of bullets. Let's one of them. A candle. What? Do Sword? I really need one of those? I don't it think depends I do. if you want to. If we come across another ghost that you just happen to want to stab. Hmm. I don't want to carry loads of stuff, that's all. I'll put the candle back. I think the original ghosts, as opposed to the new one, are a bit easier to down as well. Hmm. Back out. And then uh, back where we were before, I suppose. I'm actually looking at the door. I think it was actually one big chain. It was just held up with lots of locks. Actually. No, I'm not going to pick up another hell of because I reckon we'll get one on the way. I was trying to decide whether or not to, to do it and go back. Not oh, that way? Ah, keep going that way. I don't know why. Other than that, it's a cool room, of course. I really yeah. like that room. It's neat. And we just want to leg it all the way around, uh, all the way across. not the right way either, is it? No, it isn't. It's amongst the paintings in the front room. Is it? Mm. Don't worry about it. I have trouble keeping track of it, if I'm honest. As you can probably tell. 
Then out the door here, yeah. You'll keep me right, won't you? As right as I can keep you. Oh. And yes, it's interesting that each time we go through there, the dummies are sort of on our side and then the other side. Yeah, it's cool. But just across. It's a flesh in there, isn't it? It's just like a red thing. Straight across? Yeah. Sure. Yep. We can't actually get down any other way yet. Unless we don't get open the staircase, Greg. Run past him. It's the only way to go. <laughs> yep. Oh no, sorry, next room. Nope. Next room? Next room. <laughs> Through that wall. Oh, thank goodness, he's only shooting me. Actually, like I said, the shooting doesn't do that much damage. No, that's what I mean. Um, if you hit me with a chainsaw, I'd be knackered. Yeah, when you actually do wielding, as you've said, to John Woo style. John Woo style. Uh, that does a lot more damage, because he shoots a lot. And yes, we want to also just get out of this section, because we've already looked in all of these uh, rooms. No, we haven't. No, oh, yes. Pass them. You went to the middle to drop Eileen off. Sure. Right, so this is the room with all the sort of musical equipment. Mm hmm. Bathroom there. Looks an awful lot like our bathroom. Yeah, the layouts are um, very. There's verisimilitude. It makes sense. 12 but points we, in Scrabble. There's something on the floor there. We don't oh, exactly it. look like it it's like a high. A high-end apartment, so all the building, all the rooms are going to be the same. And the skies are grey. Yes. So we picked up a health item. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we can't go into the uh, chain room around the corner, but we can pop into all of the ones on the way. And there's a candle. Oh, lovely. A candle as well. And yes, it's still being nice and generous with all the pickups, which is what you want. Oh, this is the nurse's room. Portable med kit, that makes sense. <gasps> and an ampoule. The nurse has all the heavy duty health items. We oh, had one of each kind there briefly. Um, and as the dulcet tones of little Walt ring out, <laughs> we'll say goodbye. <laughs>